Holly and welcome back to Agent Art Fam. Today's video is going to be a mom edition of the What's in My Purse video. I've seen lots of these going around lately and I find it really interesting and intriguing to see what other people have in their purses, their diaper bags. I just kind of find it interesting to see if there's anything out of the you know, the normal that people carry in their purse that maybe I don't carry or that I do carry. So I'm really intrigued to see. I'm probably going to find things that I didn't even know I had in my purse. I'm not a huge purse person, so my purse is really old. It's like a couple years old. I do have a couple purses that I do switch from, but basically this purse is going to do me until I switch to just throwing my wallet and all my stuff in the diaper bag in the next couple months. So I'm really not too worried this one has done good and I will probably continue to use it in the future. I just, I can't justify buying or spending money on a bunch of purses that I maybe use like never. So that is that and uh, let's just get into it. Today my hair is a mess, my face is a mess, I'm breaking up like crazy just after Canadian Thanksgiving. So uh, there's that and uh, it's just pregnancy. So. I'm going to quickly show you guys my purse first, and then we'll get into what's on the inside. And like I said, there's probably going to be some surprises for myself as well. So this is just the purse that I use. It is just a shoulder strap. I'm not sure the brand. I honestly can't even tell you where I got this. I got it a few years ago. So again, like I said, I can't even link it down below because I honestly don't even know where I got it. I'm pretty sure I probably got it at Payless Shoes or something like that. Um, but other than that, I'm not... 100% sure where I got it. I could have even got it from Walmart for all I know. I don't really know. But it's just this black one. It has two pockets in the front and then a big zipper pocket. And then once you open this, there's a small, uh, smaller zipper pocket on the inside. So this is just the purse that I use. I love bags with the shoulder strap. It's always convenient. You can, you know, it's easier to carry around. I don't like the ones where the, you have to hold on your arm the whole time. It's just more convenient to have a shoulder strap. And then I just, on the outside, have my little elephant keychain. I'm in love with elephants and pandas, but I have not found a panda keychain yet. So, and this bag is jam-packed full of stuff. So like I said, there may even be snacks in here from when I was really having bad morning sickness. I don't even know what's in here, but we're going to open up and find out. Uh, together what's in my bag so the first pocket I'm gonna open up is just this bottom pocket and of course it's just a zipper pocket so nothing too interesting first thing I see is just a receipt so I'm just gonna throw that off to the side because I don't keep receipts in my purse so the first thing that I'm seeing are these like wet wipes they're called swipes go ahead and make a mess cleans them refreshes hands and face without soap or water so they're just wet wipes I keep these in here because I do have nieces and nephews that I do spend a lot of time with. Plus, they're good to have even if you don't have kids. So, these are something that I will continue to use even when I'm, you know, not pregnant and I actually have the baby. Um, if I, you notice a couple pauses, it is because uh, right now, currently filming this video, now is the time that my baby thinks that it's time to party in my stomach. So, um, they just look like this. I have a couple packs of them. Like I said, they come in total handy. And then I just have, apparently I have a little tiny pencil, not sure why I have a tiny pencil. I'm pretty sure it was probably one of those times we went mini golfing and it ended up staying in there. And then I guess I have a screen cleaner for my phone, because this definitely isn't one for my glasses, which I'm currently not wearing and I don't think I have ever worn a video yet, um, but they're mainly for long distance. So I have a screen cleaner and let's see what else. I have some hand sanitizer, which is a must. I carry it in every single bag. I have my own uh, body shop version of this in every single bag. I have one in my bathroom, that kind of thing. And every single purse that I switch, I just keep them in that purse. So I don't ever have to worry about transferring it. It is from Bath & Body Works. This is the scent uh, you had me at Merlot. Uh, Black Cherry Merlot Antibacterial Hand Gel. And it just has this cute little case on it. I don't know if there's any more in this pocket. Apparently there's more in this pocket. I have uh, just a pen and another pen, which is my company pen, so I'm not going to show you guys the other side, uh, just for personal information. And then, I don't know, I have a pop socket end on it because I switched mine out. What else? I don't even know what else I have in here. I have a hair clip. 
and a bunch of uh, change that I didn't even know I had in that pocket because that's normally not where I keep my change. And that's it for that pocket. So moving on to the next pocket, this one here, I'm pretty sure is standard. Um, I have some hand lotion. I have some more hand lotion. This is from the Body Shop. I absolutely love Body Shop products. I have chapstick, which again, I have one in every single bag. I don't leave the house without chapstick. And then I just have my keys. I have my house keys and my parents' house key and that kind of thing. And then I just have my car keys, pretty standard, and that's it in that pocket. So we're gonna move on to the next pocket here. And basically, we're just gonna, this is the inside of it. This big pocket don't have a whole lot. I'm just gonna move in to what's in that big pocket. So basically, I have my wallet. I don't have a fancy wallet either. I got this on holidays. Actually, my dad picked it up when he went on his one trip with my brother, so he got me this. So just a standard wallet. I'm not gonna open it up because it does have my ID and everything in front, but I love this wallet. I'm not picky about wallets. As long as it holds all the stuff I need, that's all that matters. And then the next thing that I have in there is a change little uh, pouch. Again, this just has change in it. That's why I was shocked to find that there was change in a pocket where it wasn't supposed to be. But that's fine. So then, now that this pocket is empty, there is a little zipper pocket right there. And we're just going to open it up. And in this pocket, this is where I would keep my um, girly monthly things. But again, I'm pregnant, so I don't carry those things with me. I don't really find the need that it takes up extra space and something that I don't need. And then I have like a little first aid kit and stuff. Again, because I'm always usually around kids and stuff like that, I just find that a first aid things in your purse is something very essential, especially since there have been times where I'm with my nieces and my nephew and one of them falls and they scrape their knee and they want a band-aid and aunties to the rescue, I have a band-aid. So again, I just have some medical tape I know this is probably crazy. I have some alcohol pads just to clean those wounds. Um, I have small band-aids. I have a compress. Don't know what I would use a compress for, but I have it because it came in this little tiny first aid kit. And again, I would probably transfer all of this over to my diaper bag just to be safe. I have just, I guess, one more band-aid left or two more band-aids left, so I guess I gotta stock up on band-aids. And then I have gauze, just in case you know you run out of band-aids and they still fall and hurt themselves, you can just wrap it in some gauze. Then I have some allergy pills, which I do not take when I'm pregnant. Uh, I have not taken when I, when I have been pregnant. I keep them solemnly in my purse for Ryan. Ryan is one who constantly uh, seems to always need a reactant when we go somewhere new out of town to my parents they live on a farm so he's constantly needing a reactant an allergy pill and um he's not going to carry it so it's easier for me just to carry it and so these are in there for him so i even have stuff in there for him and i think the very last thing in my pocket is something very essential to me i think i fill it up once a week depending on how much i go out but that is just a little baggy with some Tums in it. I do not leave the house without my Tums. If I leave the house and I don't have my Tums, we're gonna have an issue because heartburn is ridiculous in my pregnancy. I have it sitting up, sitting down, whether I uh, ate something, whether I haven't even eaten anything yet, if I just had a glass of milk, if I have just water. Heartburn is there to kick me in the ass, so Tums are a must, and they're always in my bag, fully stocked, and uh, like I said, I'm constantly refilling this, especially depending on how much I go out. So the Tums is like my number one essential, which I'm glad to open it up and see that I still have quite a few left. I think that is it that is in my purse. Yep, that is absolutely it. It is completely empty, so I guess I don't really have a whole lot of stuff, but enough to be carrying around uh, a full bag where I'm not going to fit anything. Again, half of this stuff I use regularly when I'm out, like my change purse, my hand sanitizer, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I keep stuff in there for when I'm with my nieces and my nephew just so that I have them and there's, I know that I have backups if we take them to the park. 
or wherever and um yeah so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this mom to be uh what's in my purse edition i hope some other people carry like first aid items in their purse i'm not just the only weirdo usually i do have like nail clippers and stuff like that but um since i've been pregnant i've kind of downsized because your back hurts your hips hurt and you don't want to be carrying around a shit ton of weight so this is my best option is to keep leave it uh lightweight and easy and um yeah, so that is what was in my purse, and the only thing that was surprising was change in a pocket that really wasn't supposed to be there, and a pencil. Uh, nobody really writes in pencil anymore. No one really even writes anything down anymore. Most people text it or put it in their notes on their phone. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys carry around in your purse or things that I should maybe add to mine. Or uh, when I start packing my diaper bag, uh, let me know what I should uh, be putting in my diaper bag besides the usual outfit, blanket, uh, diapers, and wipes. And then if you guys are interested in seeing once I get that up and going closer to February, uh, what's in my hospital bag and that kind of thing, I'll definitely uh, do those videos for you guys as well. So again, leave those comments down below what you guys have in your purses. I'd like love to hear. The only other thing that I have is like literally stacks and stacks of receipts, uh, which I'm throwing out now. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!